What's going on, my route runners? It's your Shirley Route Combo, aka the Professor on the Sticks. Uh, I'm playing a guy named uh, Busta, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the name. Uh, he's a subscriber. I ended up getting in a random rank game with him, and he said he's a sub, but I bought him to the party. He's a real cool guy. Um, he had a really, really good run scheme in this game. And, uh, you know, it's awesome playing subscribers, and if you are a sub, if you get in a game with me randomly, in a ranked game or, or whatever, just, just send me a message. Say you're a sub, and I'll invite you to the party. And, you know, it'd be awesome to get to know you, get to talk with you, makes the games a little bit more exciting, more fun. Nice little friendly uh, banter back and forth. It's always a good thing. Uh, and so, if, if you are a sub, you definitely uh, definitely hit me up if you get in the game with me. And, and I'm also going to be doing a subscriber night. Some people have been asking for it. Haven't done one yet Done one yet this year. I've been I've been really grinding this game. Came out with uh, two guides and um, trying to do this Road to Top 100 series as well. So I haven't really had too much time to play, and I've played a lot of on-ranked games versus some top-notch players trying to test test my game and test the the different ebooks and stuff like that out. So, so I, you know, I'm, I'm definitely gonna be looking forward to playing a lot of a lot of y'all here in the next coming week. So I don't know. I'll probably try to team up with someone in the Goon Squad to do a sub night, and if if they're not available, then I'll I'll reach out to like Takeaway Zeddy, uh, people like that that I, I talk to on a regular basis. So. So definitely stay tuned for that. And that guy got so lucky. <laughs> he, I'm pretty sure, threw to the wrong to the other guy on the double move, and luckily I was able to get the pick the next play. So if you don't know, this is this is a great in the sub episode. This is gonna be episode one for Madden 25. And what I like to do also whenever I do the subscriber night is I like to post most of those gameplays, uh, win or lose, good game or bad game, and and do this great in the sub. So if you're new to my channel, I have a lot of new subs since Madden 25 started. Uh, what great in the sub is I started this last year man I feel like I've been doing this forever now <laughs> I started this last year and it's where look at this bait let me get into this for, look at this bait let me show this one more time I get back on the middle linebacker and I know since I'm sitting that blitz from the left side the the vulnerable part is that is a short like streak right there and he saw that open he threw it it wasn't a bad read on his part it was just really good lurking out on on my behalf and man, that was a nice pick. So I love when I do stuff like that, and they actually reward me and actually give you the pick. So let's get back to grading the sub. So grading the sub is where I, pl I play a subscriber, and I I, I I try to try my my hardest to win, play uh you know play tournament style game, and uh, see how you stack up. And if, and after the game, it's a way for me to give back. And at the end of this, I'll have like a 30 second strengths and weaknesses, and I grade your game from an A plus to whatever. And, uh, you know, all, people like to leave in the comment section below if they think I graded them right. I'm definitely a tough grader, so uh, so it's, it's kind of fun. And what, the way it gives back is I, I like to tell you what I feel like you need to improve on on your offense and defense, what you do right and what you don't do as well. This is a nice little dot. So uh, so stay tuned to the end of this game, and you can kind of see how this goes. And if you like to be part of the grading the sub, just uh, send me a message or send, send something to the comment section below. And then also the best way to get a game with me is the sub night. I'm gonna be doing pretty soon. Not too sure exactly when. Uh, and then and then I'll. You should also follow me on Twitter at Route Combo. I'll I'll probably say uh, you know, uh, grade in the sub game. And then uh, you know first person who responds and then I invite to a game. We can definitely get a game like that. So let's get on to this gameplay. I'm up 20 to 14. He has a very very strong run scheme. Uh, just torture me with the run and he's running it sometimes when I don't think he's gonna run it so that, that he mixes in pretty well and right there I had to guard two different things like I got on he got unlucky that uh, his running back dropped it and I sent some pressure from the left side he didn't have a lot of time so now on fourth and eight I'm playing some coverage defense haven't thrown too much coverage defense on him and you'll see why look at look at the, my corner on that right side he goes all the way back to the guy that's in the back of the end zone that's out of the play completely goes off that guy I'm just like I know it's zone coverage, but what do you do that for? Like, man, sometimes this game I feel like it's just programmed wrong, frustrating. So he's able to take advantage of it, get a touchdown. So he goes up 21 to 20 with two minutes left, a two-minute warning right here. My whole objective is to go down the field and just get points. I believe I get ball back at half, so all I want to do is get points. I don't care if it's a field goal or a touchdown, but I want to make sure that he does not have any time left. He's playing some coverage defense, did a nice job, but. My only downfall with coverage defense is if you have a halfway mobile quarterback and you got some good stick, you can weave around the spies and, and you know pick up some yardage. So once again, he's only blitzing two. Nothing's really open, but I'm waiting for one of these guys to come back onto the screen, either RB or I think it was A or X receiver guy. 
The, but the guy on the left ended up going out of bounds, so I had to look for the guy on the right. Um, looking, the po looking at the post route, he did a really good job lurking that. And then right there, when you roll out of the pocket, the flat zone has to either stay on on the uh, on the guy he's guarding or shoot up and try to take the quarterback, and he always takes the quarterback. So if you just stay poised in the pocket, roll out a little bit, the guy's going to push up, and the running back's going to shoot up the field. For an easy game, you just have to make sure to time it right. And so I was able to get a touchdown with only like 20 seconds left. And so I feel like I did a, really, a pretty good job of it, but this game, <laughs> offense, and then he ran the ball. wasn't expecting that. He ended up getting into field goal range, and his kicker has, has a good boot. <laughs> so he was able to take advantage of that and kick a – and actually, he missed the field goal. Wow, I forgot about that. So, yeah, he missed the field goal. So uh, luckily, I didn't leave him with one more second on the clock or a few more seconds, so he could have got maybe a few more yards and definitely got the field goal. So I did a pretty good job there ending the half, time management. I, I, you know, that's one thing I see a lot of average players doing uh, wrong is, you know, you'll stick with someone. Like, I'll have a lot of people stick with me, and then at the end of the first half, you know, if I, if uh, I'll score and there'll be like 20 seconds left, and I'll just go out and come out in like uh, quarters three deep, man, and they'll end up trying to throw a post route or something deep or a, a smart route out route. And I'm gonna I'm gonna lurk on that stuff, and I usually will get I end up getting picks a lot of times in the half, and either returning it for a touchdown or getting in field goal range and then kicking a field goal. So that's a 10 point swing to end the half. And so if there's only 10 seconds left, you're at the 20 20 yard line. Uh, just do like a quarterback wrap or something, just something conservative. There's just no point of trying to throw into coverage and hopefully get to the 50 and then maybe throw up a bomb or, you know, just hoping for a field goal like that because you, don't, you don't want to compound your mistakes. I don't think Madden relates to real-life football that much, but there are some key things and, uh, and, and, like, things that you have to be aware of, and that's one of them is time management, clock management. I mean, you just got to... You just got to be smart about it. <clears throat> so this is one thing where I felt like in the second half I was able to turn up the defense on him. I put a lot of pressure on him because I was able to work the clock at the end of the half and score to make it a 13-point game. Puts a lot of pressure on him and makes him uh, have to pass the ball. And once you have to pass the ball, uh, you know, I've, I've, I feel like I have a really good pass defense. Granted, you know, people still score. I mean, you know, it's tough to play defense. But I have pretty good pass defense and some good blitzes. So... Uh, anytime I get them into a one dimension, one uh, dimension type of offense dimension, I don't even really know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, I feel like I'm in an advantage because I'll be able to, you know, get my couple stops a game doing that. So I take a 41-21 lead. He throws a nice uh, bullet pass right there, dot in my face, and so I'm up by 20. Playing some coverage defense once again. Uh, nothing's open. Nothing's open. And the guys come. The guy shoots across the middle of the field, and he he gets big hit. Nothing there. So on second and ten, I was not expecting him to run the ball. Uh, it was a good play call on his part, and I was definitely not expecting him to run the ball on third and six. Ran the ball again to get the first down. I'm telling you, man, his run game is really is really powerful. That's definitely one of his biggest assets, and I'll go over that at the end of the game. And then right there, he tries to hit me with that streak. Uh, this is not mad at 13. Uh, oh my goodness! Of course, I'm gonna fumble right when I get an interception. This is how always this always happens to me, man. You can't just get a pick and then just you know go down and start the next series. Say good defense, and I gotta fumble, give it right back to him. Did a really good job of, of getting a, getting outside the pocket there, not losing any yardage. And you know, once again, his run game is powerful. And man, I can't believe I fumbled that, man. That's that's frustrating. That would definitely have been game. I still have the game in hand. In hand, I just have to be sure. I just need to get one or two first downs, and that would be game time and overthrow you know the Bucks are a really nice team they have a really good defense good offense I just don't like their quarterback a lot of people uh, can play with their quarterback and I don't know I think he just misses some throws <laughs> that I'm wanting to make like different uh, like a pass lead to the inside like wheel routes and stuff like that or post sometimes he has overthrows and does a bunch of funky things uh, but right here you see this pocket presence I act like I'm going to rush with the quarterback stop and his his guy he gets his guy to come up and I'm able to throw a dot down the field and so now I'm just trying to run off the clock uh, I don't want to just I don't want to just kneel the ball you know that's, that's no fun especially playing a sub I don't need to do that it's only a ranked game so it's not that serious and uh, so that's gonna do it so I get nine points off him great game so let's now break down his offense and defense for offense I give him a B minus some of his strengths was like, like I've said throughout the video his run game. And he had a good balance between running and passing. I never knew if he was going to pass the ball or run the ball. His weaknesses is his passing attack and his decision making. He threw some bad passes, which led to some picks. And he needs to find one balance of a just a money play, pass play that goes along with his 
run game, and then he'll be set, and then make go through his reads and just go in practice mode and practice all that, and he will be golden. Just a money pass play, and his decision making needs to be worked on. But he, you need definitely need to keep up with your run game. So he got a B minus for his offense. I'm giving his defense a C minus. Y'all might think that's a little harsh, but I felt like I was able to do whatever I wanted on him. Uh, some of his strengths, he had some pretty good coverage defense, and he did a really good job lurking when he was in his coverage defense. On his weakness, though, he needs to work on his run defense. Uh, it's, run defense is real tough this year, but you got to figure, make a way for it to happen. Uh, his blitz, he needs a, a really nice blitz. He needs some blitzing. That's definitely what he needs. He plays a little too much coverage defense. He needs to learn how to get that one crucial stop to get.